Today's rant is brought to you by New Works Plumbing of Sacramento for your plumbing needs and repairs. New Works has a fix for you, and they're available around the clock 24-7. Just go to newworksplumbing.com, N-E-W. WRXplumbing.com. Hey, be sure and join me later today, 4 o'clock Pacific, live on Listen App. This is not a recording. Let me repeat. This is not a recording. The Sacramento Kings were embarrassed again, this time at the hands of the Memphis Grizzlies last night on their home floor. How bad was it? Bad enough that Alvin Gentry, after the game, called the performance the low point of his 34-year career, called it an absolutely ridiculous effort by the team that he coaches, and also questioned the players' pride. Translation, the players stop caring. They don't give a damn. Vivek Ranadive, the floor is yours. What are you going to say to your dwindling fan base now that you own a team in which the coach says the players don't care? You own a team that is not only arguably the worst in the NBA, but you can make the argument that you own a franchise that is among the five worst in all of professional sports. And the problem is things aren't getting any better, they're getting worse. Your fan base has been so turned off that they don't wanna go to the games anymore. They don't wanna watch the games anymore. They don't wanna wear their Kings gear anymore. That's the franchise that you own, Mr. Ronadive, and you have done a horrible job, an absolutely dreadful job as owner. And while I'm criticizing, let me now criticize De'Aaron Fox whose post-game press conference last night was embarrassing. His appearance was embarrassing. What he had to say was embarrassing. And I have been a big supporter of De'Aaron Fox, but I am now wondering if he just got his money and he's cashed it in and he doesn't care anymore. Because he looks to me like a guy that just doesn't give a damn anymore. And again, I've tried to defend him because I've known De'Aaron for a couple of years. I've watched his work ethic and I've always spoken very high accolades when it comes to Fox, but I can't do it anymore. He looks like he doesn't give a damn on the court. His post-game, as I said, press conference last night was an embarrassment. The Kings opened up the bank vault for Fox. And you know what he's done with it? Absolutely nothing. His performance has been mostly awful this year. His lack of leadership has been extremely noticeable by many of the fans that are still going to the games and watching. The question is, what the hell has happened to Fox. Is this all his fault? Hell no. But how about your coach coming out and questioning your pride? You know, a couple days ago, I said, well, Kings fans, you've hit rock bottom. Yeah, every time I say that, I come on this YouTube channel and I talk about a new rock bottom. You know, when the coach calls the performance the low point of a 34-year career, I'd have to say that is rock bottom. And I give Alvin Gentry all the credit in the world for coming out and not trying to camouflage things and telling people exactly the way it is. Good for Alvin. And Alvin, this isn't your fault. You inherited a mess. You inherited a bad, bad, bad roster where the pieces don't fit together. But there is nothing worse than players not giving a damn. Think about that. Getting paid millions and millions and millions of dollars to play a freaking game and you play like that with no heart. You know what I call it? Gutless. Absolutely gutless. Gutless. Shameful. Disgraceful. What else am I going to say? And that's my rant for today. Hey, if you like what I have to say, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I really appreciate you watching Grant's Rant.